Hornibrook. Play fake, looks, throws over the middle. That's caught, touchdown, Wisconsin. After four games, beating two top 10 teams and winning in Spartan Stadium for the first time since 2002. Scooped up by Musso at the 40, left side to the 50. Wisconsin is doing what some thought it couldn't and is loaded with confidence standing at 1-0 in Big Ten play. The blue collar mentality, you know, that we're just gonna play each each down, um, down in and down out. We're not we're not gonna give up even when we're up. We're just gonna keep going, keep keep having the foot in the gas pedal. and. I think that we gel really well as a team, and we just we just have fun doing it. Honestly, yeah, so much fun today, just having a blast playing football with the guys you love to be around. So it's just having having a blast. I think this is the game we kind of woke people up a little bit more. So uh, you know, we're contenders every time we come out here on this field. So uh, we want respect, but sometimes we're not going to get it, and that's always going to be the field to our fire. And a snap goes through his hands; it's loose. All three phases chipped in as the Badgers beat Michigan State 30 to six. Alex Hornibrook in the offense kept drives alive all day, going seven for 16 on third down and two for two on fourth down in that troublesome red zone. Inside the five to the end zone, touchdown Wisconsin. Not today, Wisconsin went three for three. I didn't really know about our, our third down, how it, how it went so well until after the game. Somebody told me, but that was a big, a big thing for us this week. Um, just watching a lot of film on third down and knowing what to expect. You know, I think he's a guy that loves being a part of this team and, and is a tremendous worker. And, and I think that he's got a skill set that's that's pretty good. And uh, but the thing I love about him is, is he's a consistent and he, he works. I was really excited, I would say. I don't know if I was too nervous, but um, you know, not try not to pay attention to all the, the outside things, the distractions, and um, it was just playing football. Defensively, Wisconsin forced four turnovers and kept Sparty out of the end zone. Now hit as he throws, picked off Sojourn Shelton. And continues to show no effects at all, playing its first year under a new coordinator. It was huge, you know, anytime we can get a, we can get a turnover and then also score on defense is huge. We're, we're trying to flip the turnover margin in our favor. And when you score on defense, obviously that's a huge play and we're just happy, happy it switched momentum a little bit for us. We got a lot of guys who played a lot of snaps and um, a lot of guys who maybe haven't but are eager to get in and start playing. So um, it's just kind of a culmination of that. Guys having fun, um, communicating, and I think that's, you know, that's what you guys see on Saturdays. We love being around each other, in all honesty. Um, I, it's surprising me that other places it's not like that. Um, our coach always tells us it's not always like that. Um, but for us, we honestly love being around each other. We're always laughing, having a great time, and that's, that makes it so much, so much easier for us on and off the field communication-wise. Have a day, Badgers defense. Have a day. The 24-point win was the largest margin Wisconsin's beaten a ranked opponent on the road since 1999. I asked Dario Gumbawale after the game, what is it? What is the difference? What is helping this team do what it's doing to get to 4-0? He said the coaches tell us we're ready. They believe in us, and they have what you need, and that's confidence. In Spartan Stadium, I'm Chris Hall for UWBadgers.com.